हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर सूरज जुगल किशोर जायसवाल फर्स्ट ईयर रेडियो डायग्नोसिस जूनियर रेसिडेंट इन डॉक्टर डी वाई पाटिल हॉस्पिटल कोल्हापुर आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक इंडियन रेडियोलॉजिस्ट फॉर अलाउिंग मी टू प्रेजेंट दिस पेपर इन द कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ सिटी बस माय टॉपिक इज हार्टस हर्निया एंड गैस्ट्रिक वॉल्यूलस इमेजिंग दिस इज द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माय मेंटर डॉक्टर प्रदीप पाटिल हु इज प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस इन डी वाई पाटिल हॉस्पिटल कोल्हापुर Uh, aims and objectives. The aim is to study the multimodality imaging features of hiatus hernia and gastric volvulus association. The objective is to learn the various imaging features in hiatus hernia and gastric volvulus cases. So the introduction and background. Uh, hiatal hernia is a condition in which upper part of stomach or other internal organ bulges through the hiatus of the diaphragm. When there is laxity in this hiatus, gastric content can back up into the esophagus. and it is the leading cause of gastroesophageal reflux disease in hiatus hernia the stomach pushes through the opening in the diaphragm of hiatus and into the chest and comp compromises the lower esophageal sphincter this laxity of the lower esophageal sphincter can allow gastric content and acid to back up into the esophagus and this is the leading cause of gastroesophageal reflux disease while a small hiatus hernia is often uh, symptomatic and can typically be managed medically large hiatal hernias often require surgery approximately 55 to 60% individuals of above the age of 50 have hiatus hernia however only 9% have symptoms and it depends on the type and competency of the lower esophageal sphincter the vast majority of these hernias are type 1 sliding hiatus hernias type 2 paraesophageal hernias only make up about 5% of hiatal hernias where the lower esophageal uh, sphincter remains stationary but the stomach protrudes above the diaphragm classification type 1 is the sliding type which represents more than 90 per 95% of the cases uh, occurs when the g junction is displaced up, uh, upwards through the hiatus type 2 is the paraesophageal hiatus hernia which occurs when part of stomach migrates into the mediastinum parallel to the esophagus type 3 is when both the paraesophageal and sliding hernias are involved where the both the g junction and part of the stomach have migrated into the mediastinum type 4 is when the stomach as well as an additional organ such as the colon small intestine or spleen also herniate into the chest a uh, gastric valvulus uh, is a specific type of valvulus that occurs when the stomach twists on its mesentery it should be at least 180 degrees and cause uh, bowel obstruction to be called gastric valvulus epidemiology uh, organoaxial valvulus is more common in adults responsible for 60% of presentations mesenteroaxial valvulus is more common in children clinical presentation uh, borchard triad is classic and it uh, includes the intractable retching without vomiting inability to pass an esophagic tube and sudden severe epigastric pain so this image shows the two types of the valvulus when the stomach twists around the long axis uh, it is known as the organoaxial type and when it twists around the short axis it is the mesenteroaxial in which the pylorus goes above the level of the g junction so the organoaxial uh, axial valvulus it occurs when the stomach rotates along its long axis and becomes obstructed with the greater curvature being displaced superiorly and the lesser curvature located more caudally in the abdomen antrum rotates antero superiorly and the fundus rotates posterior inferiorly the mesenteroaxial valvulus occurs when the stomach rotates along its short axis with the resultant displacement of antrum above the g junction rotation is usually partial and is not associated with a diaphragmatic defect Uh, twist greater than 180 degrees seen in organoaxial and if a positive oral contrast is administered it is retained in the stomach in mesenteroaxial the stomach uh, it is not retained in the stomach if a positive oral contrast is used organoaxial is more common type and the mesenteroaxial is less common but is more common in the pediatric population uh, methods and materials a uh, few of the suspected or incidentally diagnosed hiatus hernia cases and gastric valvulus association on various imaging modalities which include plain radiograph barium study ultrasonography and computer tomography in the department of radio diagnosis dr d y patil medical college hospital and research institute kolhapur included in the study uh, cases 
केस वन इज द सेवेंटी इयर ओल्ड फीमेल प्रेजेंटेड टू द ऑफथेलमोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट विथ क्लाउडिंग ऑफ विजन शी हैड नो अदर कंप्लेन्ट शी वॉज डायग्नोज टू हैव कैटरेक्ट बिफोर पोस्टिंग द पेशेंट फॉर सर्जरी अ चेस्ट रेडियोग्राफ वॉज टेकन फॉर सर्जिकल फिटनेस एंड द प्लेन रेडियोग्राफ शोज अ रेट्रोकार्डिया कोपैसिटी विथ गैस फ्लूड लेवल इन द पी ए एंड द लैटरल व्यूज a uh, single contrast barium swallow was done in this case which shows a uh, upward displacement of the gastroesophageal junction through the hiatal opening in the diaphragm uh, which suggests a uh, sliding hiatal hernia type 1 a uh, next case is a 24 year old male who came with a complaint of vomiting and epigastric pain since 5 days uh, no other complaint was there plain chest uh, ct plain chest ct was done including the abdomen uh, it shows the gastric distension with rotation around the short axis from lesser to the greater curvature and herniation through the hiatus uh, indicating an obstruction g junction is uh, shifted above the level of the diaphragm as we can see in these images uh, suggestive of a mixed type of hernia in which g junction and a part of stomach is herniated case 3 a 34 year old male came with a history of uh, road traffic accident complaining of chest pain uh, he also had a, a neck femoral neck fracture on the left side a uh, plain radiograph and an ultrasound in this case shows a gastric shadow in the lower lung zone uh, suggestive of herniation on further uh, scan a plain chest ct scan was done and we can see the gastric rotation around the short axis with herniation through the hiatus and a bilateral pleural effusion is seen the gastroesophageal junction is seen below the level of the diaphragm suggesting a paraesophageal type of hernia which is type 2 where only the gastric content is herniated and the g junction is below the diaphragm the next case a 77 year old uh, male presented with the complaints of epigastric pain uh, contrast ct was done now we can see the gastric distension with the rotation around the short axis again from lesser to the greater curvature and herniation through the hiatus can be seen uh, pylorus can be seen above the level of the diaphragm and g junction is seen below the level of the diaphragm which is suggestive of a paraesophageal type of hernia in which only the gastric uh, contents are herniating through the defect so the conclusion this study underscores the importance of various imaging modalities in the diagnosis of hiatus hernia along with the associated gastric valvulus and shows various imaging features in these cases in the multi modality image imaging uh, these are the references thank you